Hello everyone and welcome to my Autodesk Revit 2022 tutorial series on space trusses. So for this video I'll be mainly focusing on showing you how to draw in the space truss panels. In another Autodesk Revit tutorial I'll be showing you how to draw in a space truss in a Revit drawing file. But before we get started I'd like you to hit the subscribe button for more Autodesk Revit tutorials and like this video and share with anyone who could benefit from this video and now let's get started so to draw in our individual space trust panels proceed to the file button over here and proceed to the new button over here and hover over the right side over here where you see this arrow button pointing to the right and click on the family button over here and you'll see this pop up over here for new family select template file so for this case, we are looking for a metric generic model pattern base over here. Click on open and you'll be greeted by this grid over here. So before we begin with uh, any type of modeling, proceed to the manage tab over here. Click on project units. So the unit for length is millimeters and the unit for angles is degrees and the unit for area is square meters. So just keep note of that. I won't be changing any of the units. Click on OK. And let's select this grid over here. You can see that the horizontal spacing and vertical spacing are about 3048 millimeters each. So in this video, I would like to set both values at 2000 each instead. Like so. And proceed to the reference button over here and click on the point element over here. So we're going to draw out the plane for the top chord of our truss. So let's place all these points over here. And hit escape twice. So now let's select those points. You can either select them individually by hovering over one and then Hovering over another and pressing control and left click. You can see that I've selected two reference points. So this is a very time consuming method of selection. You could actually end up selecting the wrong thing and you'll have multiple categories selected. So what I normally like to do is select everything, click on the filter button over here and then check on none and then select the reference points, click on apply and OK. And then now scrolling down, you'll find the dimension section over here. We need to set an offset for our top chord. So select on this associate family parameter button over here. Click on new parameter over here. And I'll just name this as uh, top chord offset. And you can leave the other settings like family parameter and type and everything else as they are when you saw them for the first time. So just click on OK and OK once more. And now if I were to go to the family types button over here, I can see that there's a top chord offset parameter over here. So I'll just key in a value of 2000 millimeters over here. Click on apply and OK. And there we go. This is our top chord for our space truss. So now I will just draw in a point in the middle over here so that we can draw these space truss members in. So now I'll quickly just place in reference points in the middle of all these lines in the lower plane here and one reference point in the middle of this reference plane at the bottom. So just click on reference, click on point and I'll just place in these reference points like so. And to draw the reference point in the middle, I'll just use a bunch of reference lines, connect them. And the middle should be about there. Yep, I've drawn in the correct plane. And now let's draw out the 
reference plane for our top chord. So click on the reference button and click on the line tool and make sure 3D snapping is on so that you don't draw out of the plane. Like so. And now to draw in the diagonals connecting to the middle point over here, you can select these two points. Uh, sorry. Uh, you can select the reference point here and the reference point here. And you can use the spline through points option here. Like so. And I'll proceed to doing that to the other reference points. And there we go, we've already drawn out our space truss planes and the lines for our space truss. So now we need to define a section diameter to draw out the circular members of our space truss. So for this case, I'll be taking a member size from the SCI Steel Blue Book website. So the diameter is 114.3 millimeters and the radius will be about 57.15 millimeters. Uh, before that, let's add a reference point. Let's say about, about right here. And let's set a work plane to define our section property for this space truss. So select this point over here. And now we can draw out the section for our space truss using the model tool and selecting the circle. So as I said before, I am using a member from the SCI Steel Blue Book website. And for this case, the diameter is 114.3 millimeters. So the radius is 57.15 millimeters. So just key in 57.15 like so. So to select this reference point and the circle, you need to left click from the left to the right. Like so. If you were to left click from the right to the left, you'll select too many things over here. So just left to right. And then you can actually copy it out and paste it out so that you don't have to redraw them elsewhere. So now that we've already drawn in some of the member profiles for our space truss, we can place them along the diagonals, for example, just by selecting this reference point and click on pick new host. And I can place them anywhere along this diagonal, for example. Like so. And let me just make a copy. And now let's uh, place some over here instead. And one over there. And you can delete the rest over here. So to draw in our member, it's quite simple. Just select the line and the circle and reference point just by holding left click and dragging from right to left and create solid form over here, like so. Create solid form. Create solid form, create solid form. So it's quite straightforward over here. And now for the top chord, I can show that uh, you can actually select all these lines and then create a solid form, like so. So now that we've already drawn in our space truss panel, we can actually define a material. For example, you can select one member over here and you can click on material under the materials and finishes button over here. And you'll see this material browser default. You can actually create a new material.
for example. I'll be showing you how to do that in another Autodesk Revit tutorial, but I just want to let you know that you can actually set the material in the family editor over here or in the family creation aspect of Revit, but then you don't have access to all the libraries as in a Revit project. So that's one tip to know. And that's it for today's Autodesk Revit tutorial. And in the next Revit tutorial, I'll be showing you how to model a space truss using in-place mass in a Revit project. And we'll be using the space truss panel that we've created over here. So stay tuned for that. And if you do like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and share. And as always, keep learning, stay safe, and God bless.